Good evening all, welcome to Sports in the North, I'm Romico Knowles. Tonight we continue our series on females in sports with Jay Philippe. In this episode of Females in Sports, I had the opportunity to sit with one of the most accomplished female basketball players in Bahamian history. Abigail Davis started playing basketball at the age of five. She represented the Bahamas twice at the Bahama Games while being the youngest player on the team at the time at the age of 11. She is a 13-time champion in the Grandmama Basketball Association and a former league most valuable player. What made you uh, fall in love with basketball? Well, uh, I was first introduced to the game at about five years old. Actually, always being the throw-in behind my sister. The camp at that time was Smitten Soft Lease Basketball Camp. And so she was attending, and me being the little sister, you know, I had to go along for the ride. And it was about two weeks, and it was just love at first sight. They had a Saturday league uh, that ran at the YMCA, and Lincoln was actually the only coach that had girls on his team. So I was the first girl that was a part of that league, and then he said, what do you think about night league basketball? I, I thought, night league, you know, sounds a bit much, but me being the type of person that I was, always willing to try anything, as long as it, you know, evolved around basketball. I went home and I asked my mom about it, and you know, she gave me the go ahead, and that was where it all started. So name some of the persons maybe that were in your age category, that were really, really good basketball players, but never really had an opportunity to showcase their talent on a large platform. Again, the name that would always stick out for me would be Chantel. You know, she and I, we grew up playing basketball. We were friends. You know, we did a lot of things together. She went to uh, Eagle Rock High. I went to Catholic High, but we played night league basketball together. And so it was always, you know, a thing because we had to play against each other in high school games. And some nights we would actually have a game, a high school game, and then have to play night league basketball as teammates, you know. Well, my journey was uh, kind of unique, uh, very different. I graduated from high school at 15. And so, in the 10th grade, a uh, coach came down from Winston-Salem State and she wanted to recruit me then, but I was only in the 10th grade. But she told me, you know, when you get to the 12th grade, uh, you know, I definitely think you can play at this level in terms of college basketball. But when I was ready, uh, when I graduated, uh, had finished 12th grade, she didn't have any scholarships available. And of course, I was also a top academic student and so it was always that toss up between am I going to follow the academic dreams or am I going to follow the sport dreams. But when I, when I do have the opportunity to, to catch games, you know, I try to be, you know, this generation is a little bit different. They, they're not as much of, of a sponge as, as we were back in our day, you know, we wanted. People always ask me, how did you get to that level and I, I always tell people, you know, my game is snippets of things that I saw and that I felt could help me, you know, at my size and with my skill level. You know, if I saw somebody did something that I think, hey, that's, you know, that's a small play. And a lot of times I watched the guys, I played against the guys a lot. And so, you know, for me playing against the guys, it was never about winning. It was always trying to pick up something. Tune into ZNS Network News for the full interview on Abigail Davis. That's what's making sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Nodes. Until next time, enjoy your weekend.